Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Agnes. In today's tutorial, we are going to be doing this Varsity Bomber jacket. I did it in the colors uh, mango yellow and a navy blue. This is my seven year old son. So in the tutorial, I'll be doing this size of a seven year old, but I will be telling you which measurements you need to do so that you can make it for an adult, a child, um, of any size, you know. So all you will need is the measurements that I will tell you to do, and then you can just adjust everything to fit your size, any size, your size, big size, small size, any size, any age. All right. So before we get into the video, thank you so much for 90,000 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please do so so we can get to 100,000. So what we'll need for this tutorial, I'll be using this yarn. It's DK yarn. You can use any type that you have with a recommended hook size. And this recommends a 3.5 to 4.5 millimeter hook, but I'll be using a 3.5 for this tutorial. It is 50 grams, 133 meters of each ball. I'll write in the description box how many I used. Uh, this is, you need a tape measure, you need um, a hook. I'll be using a 3.5 millimeter hook, like I mentioned. And yeah, scissors too. So for the measurements, this is how I take them. So this is my son. I take from shoulder to shoulder measurements. And his is 13 inches. So from one shoulder to the other shoulder, 13 inches. So take your own measurements for that. The length of the jacket, this is without the ribbing first. So it's about uh, 16. I want it to be 16. So top of the shoulder to where you want to reach because the ribbing uh, doesn't count that much. So this might be the height of your jacket. And then I will take the upper arm measurement so that I can know the sleeve uh, width. So this is about 8 inches and we'll be making adjustments to this. Okay, so 8 inches. And I forgot to mention to take measurements for the length of the sleeve. So just take the length of the sleeve from the top of the shoulder to the wrist area. Okay. So we are going to start with the back panel. So for the back panel, we'll make a chain that is long as our shoulder to shoulder measurements plus two inches. So my shoulder, sh shoulder measurements were 13, so plus 2, 15 inches. All right, so I have my 15 inches. This is our back panel, uh, 15 inches of chain. Make sure it's an even number of chains, even number of chains. That's very important, even number of chains. So we are going to start on row 1. And for row 1, we're going to skip the first chain. Forgive my nails in this video. They are horrible, I know, but please bear with me. Um, skip the first chain and into the second chain, you are going to make a single crochet. Go into your next chain, make a single crochet. Into your third chain, make a single crochet. And for this first row, it's going to be a row of single crochets till the end. So make one single crochet in every chain until you get to the end of the row and I will meet you once you're done. All right, so I'm at the end of the row, right? So now you should be having an odd number of, of single crochets. So chain one, turn your work and make a single crochet in that very first stitch. Then you're going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and a stitch after that, make a single crochet. Okay. Then chain one, skip one stitch, and then make a single crochet in that next stitch. Chain one, skip one stitch, and make a chain, I mean a single crochet in the next chain. So basically, this is going to be our pattern for row two. So it's single crochet, chain one, skip one stitch and make a single crochet like that till we get to the end of the row. So once you get to the end of the row, you should have a single crochet at the end. I'm at the end of the row and I have a chain. So this is going to be my last stitch and it is a single crochet. 
so for row two you're going to chain one and this is now going to change so working with single crochets but this is going to change but the beginning of the row is going to be a single crochet and then we are going you see where this chain space is below it is where we have a single crochet so we are going to yarn over go into the single crochet below the chain and pull up a loop and make a double crochet so chain one now skip the next stitch which is the single crochet and we're going to work a double crochet under the chain like that chain one skip one and then work a double crochet in the row below the chain okay so that single crochet that we had in the first row is where we are working chain one skip one and work in the row below the chain i hope you get it so it's simple as that from here it's going to be this simple chain one and work a double crochet in the row below the chain stitch chain one skip the next stitch and work a double crochet in the row below okay i'll meet you at the end of the row to show you how we finish it off all right so i'm coming to the end of the row and as you see i have a double crochet and i only have one stitch left so what do we do we are just going to complete this off with a single crochet so we begin the row with a single crochet end the row with a single crochet for the next stage we are going to chain one turn our work and then begin with a single crochet but right after that, you see, we have a double crochet. So we are going to make a chain over the double crochet. And where we have a chain space, we'll make a double crochet in the row below the chain. Let's chain one, skip one, make a double crochet. Chain one, skip one, make a double crochet right in the row below the chain. Chain one, skip one, make a double crochet in the row below the chain all right so just watch what i'm doing so where we have a chain we are working in the row below it and where we have a double crochet we are putting a chain okay so you see I'll see at the end and I'm at the end and I have a double crochet here. So I'll chain one and skip the double crochet and work a single crochet as my last stitch. So it begins with a single crochet, ends with a single crochet. Chain one. Now we turn our work. So this is going to be like row three. So first of all, we are going to make a single crochet. Okay. And then the next stitch is always going to be now it now is a double crochet because we had a chain space there then now chain one and then skip one make a double crochet like that so our rows the difference is going to be one starts with a single crochet and then a chain and that ends with a a chain and then a single crochet so the next row would be starting with a single crochet and then a double crochet without a chain in between and then it ends with the same it ends with a double crochet and it ends with i mean it ends with a pair of a double crochet and single crochet once you chain one and turn your work now it would be a single crochet and then a chain okay so you'll just get it where you have a chain you make a double crochet where you have a double crochet you make a chain just you're going to keep repeating these rows three and four until you have your height all right so i kept repeating row three and and, and four until i have my height and i wanted like i took my measurements it was 16 inches that i wanted right so now I'm going to close the last row off because we have chains and we don't need chains when we are joining our work, right? So this is how we are going to close that off. Okay, so once you have your measurements, your length of how you want your cardigan to be or your jacket, uh, this is your next step to close off that back panel, okay? So where we have a single crochet, of course, it's going to be a single crochet. And 
this way we have a double crochet we are just going to insert a single crochet because we are not making chains on this last row okay so where we have a chain we are going to go ahead and make a double crochet in the row below and where we have a double crochet we'll make a single crochet normally here would put a chain but now it's a single crochet because we are closing off all the spaces all the chains okay so single crochet double crochet single crochet double crochet so you're going to repeat this until you get to the end of the row and we'll be done with our back panel then we will start on our front panels and i will tell you how the measurements for the front panels so based on your back panel the measurements will be based on your back panel so get to the end of this and i'll see you then So I'm done and um, let's take the measurements from side to side. At the beginning we had 50, I had 15 inches, but as you can see, it's stretched over to 17 inches. It happens, especially when you use a loose stitch, when you, your stitches are loose and all that. So from the 17 stitches, I mean inches, I will subtract four inches. So four inches is going to be our neckline, okay? So 17 minus 4, I remain with 13 inches, right? So these 13 inches, I need to divide them into 2. So 13 divided by 2 is 6.5, right? So this is going to be the foundation chain of my front panel. Each front panel is going to be 6.5. So the math I did right there, do the same math. Take your measurements at the top once you're done right subtract four inches and then what you have remaining divide by two so that will be your foundation chain but if you're doing for someone younger than seven i suggest you just make a neckline of three inches okay so for this uh, front panels is going to be different because we are going to be making a reduction at the top our first one was 16 inches right but here i'm making a reduction after 12 inches which makes the the reduction four inches okay but you can see the fitting of my son so i'm thinking i would have done three inches maybe two inches so that is up to you at the you see the drop at the, around the neckline so you can do less inches or you can do four like i did okay if you don't mind how it looks there so foundation chain for the front for the front panel mine is going to be 6.5 inches and it's going to be of course an even number of inches so do your math and know how many inches you'll make for foundation chain for your front panels okay i'll do 6.5 inches you can just go back to the explanation and understand it well all right so I did my 6.5 inches it's an even number of chains and this is just going to be the same thing okay like we did for the back panel so just skip the first chain and then into the second chain make a single crochet and it's going to be a row of single crochets so make a single crochet in every stitch okay make a single crochet in every stitch i'll meet you at the end once i'm at the end i'll go ahead chain one turn my work and make a single crochet in that very first stitch and then chain one skip the next stitch and right after that insert a single crochet chain one skip one and make a single crochet chain one skip one make a single crochet and i'll do that till the end and I'll... then i will start on the third row just the same pattern like we did keep repeating the same thing like we did for the back uh, uh, panel but instead of getting to the top 16 inches that i had i'll stop at 12 with four inches to go and then i'll start my decrease so if you want to leave three inches stop until you have three inches to the top and then we can start our decrease, okay? 
it's the same pattern like we did so i don't need to record this again for you just repeat the same thing i will stop at 12 and then i'll show you how i make the decrease to up to 16. okay so the measurements you have for the back panel once you have four inches remaining i'll meet you there all right so this is my 12 inches i have uh, four inches to go so i want to make those inches in and decrease all right so this is how we are going to make the decrease like i said it doesn't have to be four inches you can decide to make it three you can decide to make it two up to you so for the decrease it's going to be this row where we start with the row of that single crochet and double crochet together okay that's where we'll be making the decrease okay so we are going to skip this first two the first single crochet and then the chain one and then work in this one the third stitch so we are skipping the first two stitches and working in the third stitch so i'll put a single crochet there and now since we have a chain i'll make a double crochet then chain one and yeah we made our decrease so now it's going to be a pattern the same pattern we had so we are going to make a double crochet in the previous row where we have a chain and then we make a chain where we have a double crochet so just go do this till the end of the row so we are only making a decrease on one side of the work okay complete this row up to the end and once you're at the end turn chain turn your work work the same thing and i'll meet you back here where we made a decrease all right so i turned my work came back this is where side where we made a decrease and just going to end this off with a single crochet okay so turn your work and now we are going to make our second decrease so we skip our first stitch second stitch and into the third stitch we make a single crochet and then a double crochet so we are only making decreases on the row where we have we are beginning with a single crochet and a double crochet okay so i do this same pattern till the end once i get to the end i chain one make a single crochet turn my work work the same thing and again come back here in my row with a chain and a single crochet and then chain one turn my work skip and repeat until you have your inches all right so i decreased and i have my 16 inches and these are how many holes i'm still remaining with chains so yeah so now i'm going to close this off of course uh these four inches of decrease okay so now i'm going to close this off like we did with uh with the back panel so chain one turn my work and now this of course we are not making a decrease here so i'll insert in the very first stitch and then a double crochet into the next stitch and here where we have a double crochet i'm going to make a single crochet and then a double crochet single crochet and double crochet till the end and so this is one of my front panels so we need uh, two identical front panels so i'll again repeat the same thing go ahead and repeat the same thing because i already have mine go ahead and repeat the same thing all right like this so make sure you have two panels and i'll come show you what we do with them next okay so yeah i have my 16 inches once it's complete yeah 16 inches that's what i needed do your second panel and come back with two and let's join them to the back panel All right, so once you have your two panels, lay them like this, and I'm going to lay them on where I want the wrong side to be. And I will do join them at the shoulder, at the top, the shoulder parts at the top, okay? 
so <clears throat> this is how it looks like and then we'll come and join the sides and make the sleeves so let's join them so at the top i'm just already did one so you're just going to reattach your yarn from this side um into both panels the front and the back panel in the first stitch and we are going to be using a single crochet for this So I'm just going to make a single crochet in every stitch until I get to the end. We are working both in the front panel and the back panel. So we are joining the two together using a single crochet in every stitch. Like this and it's in both loops. So do that until you get to the end. Once you're done, do the other side too, and I'll meet you once I'm done. All right, so I have my two panels joined together. I went ahead and, yeah, did this. I was trying out the sleeves and all that, but I'll show you how to do that. I have a feeling I will change this. This is my sleeve, and I have this ribbing, which if you know me, you know I love the front post and back post. So I have a feeling I will change that later. So, but you will see. So this is how we'll work our sleeve. I'm going to show you how to do the sleeve first, and then we can join the rest of the parts. All right. So we are going to take our measurements. Remember our upper arm measurements? Mine was eight. So to that measurements, add five inches. Okay, so mine totals up to 13 inches, divide by 2, that is 6.5. So each side is going to be 6.5. So right from the top of the shoulder here, down there is 6.5. And on this side, it is also going to be 6.5. So that totals up to 13 inches when we join it together. Okay, so we'll work from down there right up to here. So our whole line is going to be 13 inches so your measurements that you had for your upper arm plus five inches that's what you need all right so we are going to use still our yellow color and where i have from my first from here to where i have 6.5 inches you have to mark that okay so i'll insert my hook and now we are working on the sleeves okay this is the sleeves <coughs> So we're going to do a row of single crochets first. So in each stitch, we are going to insert a single crochet. The st st stitches are really not so defined. So where you see a hole, insert a single crochet. So see here, I go in with a single crochet. Next is here, I go in with a single crochet. Here is my next single crochet. So everywhere you see somewhere you can put a stitch, make a single crochet in there. You can, you can they're visible, you can easily see those holes. So make a single crochet in each one of them. So I'm going to do that until I'm at the top here. All right, so I went up to the top of the shoulder. And so you count the stitches that you have. That's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I have 23 stitches, okay? So I'm also going to do on the other side 23 stitches so that our stitches match, okay? 
so if i have 23 stitches here that were an equivalent of 6.5 inches then on this opposite side i will do on this next side i'll do the same number of stitches 23 but when you see 23 stitches plus 23 stitches that's um 46 that's an even number but i need an odd number of single stitch, single crochet stitches so i'll make 24 on this side so that i have an odd number okay so i add just one stitch to make it an odd number so that our pattern can fit perfectly so i want to change colors so instead of completing that single crochet i'll go ahead and make it halfway and then bring in my second color which is the navy blue to complete that single crochet then i'll chain one and then turn my work so we are going to start on our second row just like we did for the back panel and the front panels you'll start with a single crochet in that very first stitch and then you're going to chain one chain and skip one stitch then into the next stitch make a single crochet chain one skip one stitch make a single crochet into the next stitch chain one skip one and make a single crochet so you are going to repeat this pattern of uh, chain one skip one and then make a single crochet until you get to the end where you have all your, all your single crochets across all the single crochets and i'll meet you there so that we can do row two i mean <laughs> row three all right so i'm done with row two and we are going to start on row three so we ended this with a chain and then a single crochet now for the next stitch you're going to chain one for the next row sorry then turn your work and in this very first stitch we are going to make a single crochet make a single crochet and the next stitch which is a chain stitch we will make a double crochet into the previous row the row below the chain so go into the row below the chain and make a double crochet. So next is a chain stitch. So make a chain. So make a double crochet into the stitch right below the chain st stitch. So we're making a double crochet and then you're going to chain a one, skip the next stitch and in the stitch where we have a chain below it make a double crochet in that stitch below it so it's going to be the same pattern like you did with the front panels and back panels you are making a double crochet in a row below where you have the chains and then you're making a chain on top of the single crochets in this case but once you go with the rows higher then it will be on top of that double crochet so repeat that until you have the height every time you get to the end you're making a single crochet and every time you begin the row it is also a single crochet it will be alternating between single crochet and double crochet and then single crochet and chain okay so i didn't tell you how to do the measurements but yeah it's from the shoulder to the wrist area and his measurements are 16 inches so I'll meet you once I have 16 inches. This is how it mine looks like. No, sorry, not 16 inches. I'll meet you once I have 14 because I want the ribbing to be about 2 inches. Okay. So I have my 14 inches. Yeah, you can see that. I have my 14 inches because I want the ribbing to be about 2 inches or 2 and a half. So almost 14 so i want to do the close off or that the, the reduction at the wrist okay because it's big so we need to reduce it first 
right so i changed the pattern as you know i did the back post and front post because that's my best ribbing stitch and it's the easiest so i thought why take so much time with a single crochet and all that yet i can do the back post and front post anyway yeah so i changed my mind on that and uh, i'm going to show you how to close this sleeve off okay so we are going to do the reduction okay so once you get to the end you are going to chain one turn your work okay let me bring this closer so we are going only be working in the chain spaces okay only in the chain spaces and this we are going to use a double crochet so my first stitch is going to be a single crochet but my next stitch is going to be a double crochet in the previous row like that so i'm just going to go ahead without chaining one okay without chaining one go ahead into the next chain space that that, that stitch below it and make a double crochet so the only thing we are taking off here is the chain we are not chaining the one in between so we're just going ahead with double crochets across all the chain spaces until the end just double crochet in every chain space like this don't chain one don't chain one so this makes it smaller so it's more like cutting it in half okay So do that until you get to the end of this row and then we'll now start on the ribbing once you're done all right so i'm done and the end i'm just going to go ahead and make a single crochet and i will connect this but i need to connect it this is the wrong side so i need to turn it so that it is facing on the right side because i want to work my ribbing on the right side so I turn it like that and I'm going to connect these two sides so the beginning and the end together and I will use a slip stitch okay so so you're going to chain two and in that very first stitch I'm going to make a double crochet and I'm going to go into the next stitch and make a double crochet. So these stitches, don't mind the space, it will close up. So these stitches are making on top of every double crochet that I made. So put a single crochet, I mean, sorry, put a double crochet on top of every stitch. A double crochet in every stitch so you're making a double crochet on top of every double crochet. And the spaces keep closing up once you do that. All right, so make one double crochet in every stitch and I'll meet you once you're back here to show you. So I'm at the end of the row and I want to close this off. So I'm going to go on top of the chain two that I have and make a slip stitch. Make a slip stitch and then we are now going to start on the row of front post and back post so i will chain two and in this very first stitch leave alone the chain sp stitch this very first double crochet i'll go under it and make a front post then my next stitch is going to be a back post so i'll go from the behind over it with my hook like this and make a back post and then next is a front post so i'll go under it like this and next is a back post so from the behind i will go over the double crochet with my hook to make a back post and next is a front post so i'll go under it like this well my next stitch is going to be a back post so you're going to just repeat this front post back post front post back post until you get to the end of the row if you don't know how to do the front post and back post you can just check other videos all right so i'm at the end 
and I want to change color. So instead of finishing my double crochet, I'll just leave when I have two loops on the hook and then complete yarn through with my other color and then complete the row with a slip stitch on top of the chain two, like that. Okay, so for my row three, I'm going to chain two and where I had the front post, I'll go ahead and make a front post and where we have a back post, then I make a back post. Next is a front post and then a back post. So it's going to be a repeat of front post, back post, front post, back post. And this is my third row. So I'll go ahead and finish this row. So go ahead and do the same and it's going to be the same pattern only that will be changing colors uh, once in a while. I wanted two uh, rows of yellow so I did it. This is uh, the third row. So for the fourth and fifth row I did blue and then for the, the sixth row I did the yellow again and then for the seventh row I did the blue. So I did a total number of seven rows so this is up to you you can choose to switch it up and do as many as you like so you're going to turn this to the wrong side again so that we can now sew together this the rest of the sleeve so i'll start from this right here to the underarm with the blue color and it's going to be the same pattern we are going to be using single crochets to join these two together all right just align it in that your stitches are aligned like this okay so i'll insert my hook right from the here the first stitch and then reattach my yarn And then I will just join this using single crochets in every stitch or space that you can see. We are going through both the, the front and the back sides. Single crochet, go into the next space, make a single crochet. And yeah, you are going to keep making one single crochet in every chain stitch that you see, in every stitch that you see. And I'll meet you once you are done joining the sleeve up to the other side under the arm. I'm done joining my sleeve just uh, once you're done just make a slip stitch and cut off your yarn uh, because we are done with that color and this is how it looks like we are still working on the wrong side so I want to put a pocket here so I want to leave a pocket slip what I did is uh, measure two inches from down so I left two inches down before my pocket slit and then my pocket slit is, uh, so this is two inches from pocket slit downwards. And then my pocket slit is four inches, right? So I put stitch markers, right? Because I want it to be four inches right here at the top and then at the bottom so that I have this pocket slit, all right? And then for this is for child size. For an adult, you need to add maybe to five inches, okay? And then I will just sew this together and then leave the pocket slip like this and then sew the bottom together, okay? So do the same, make stitch markers. So we are going to sew from top, from the underarm downwards. And we are going to reattach our yarn. I'm using the yellow at this point and we are going to be using single crochets. So in every stitch, make a single crochet, both sides, the front and the back, to join them together 
in every hole that you see. Like this until here where we have a stitch marker. So I'm um, where we have our first stitch marker and where we'll make a pocket slit. So I will only work on one side. So now I'll be making single crochets across the front. This is the front panel. So I will only work on the front panel and I will make slips, single crochets in every stitch. So make single crochets in every stitch until I get to where I have my second stitch marker. So I'm um, uh, back to where I have my stitch marker and I will take this out and then insert my hook both the front and the back just to join those two together again working in both the front and the back so insert my hook both in front and back remove the stitch marker and join using a single crochet So it's single crochets until the end. All right, so I'm done. And this is how it looks like. We have our little pocket slit here. Uh, yeah, just count the number of stitches on your pocket slit because that is going to be important. We need them from our pockets, for our pockets, sorry. And that number add two. So count the single crochets on your pocket slit, then times times two. And then the number that you have, that number you have, add two stitches, okay? So we are now going to work the pocket first. So make a foundation chain. And you are going to chain as many chains as you, you counted. So it's your single crochets times two plus two chains. So if you have, let's say, if you had like 12 single crochets, then times two, that's 24 plus two, 26, okay? So this is mine. This is how it is. And uh, we are going to work double crochets. So you are going to join these two ends together like this. And then make a slip stitch. And then you're going to chain one, two, and then in that very first stitch, you're going to make a double crochet. Go into your next stitch, make a double crochet. Go into your next chain, make a double crochet. And you're going to work a row of double crochets all around. And I'll meet you once you're done with your, your row of double crochets. So that we can start on row two. Uh, so I'm at the end of row one and on top of this chain two, I'll make a slip stitch to join this row and then chain two and into that very first stitch, I'll make a double crochet. Go into the next stitch, make a double crochet and I'll make a double crochet in every stitch until I get to the end of the row and close it off and then start all over again. So I'll make until I have a total number of four inches, four inches, okay? So you can see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I had eight rows, seven inches, I mean four inches. So I have my four inches. And yeah, as you can see, I'd made eight rows, four inches. And we are now going to join this pocket to the pocket slit. We're going to put it inside the pocket slit. And this is on the right side. So this is the wrong side and this is the right side. So we are working on the right side. It should be the other way around. So I'll start from the top instead. 
so let me change this all right to the right side yeah from the top so you are going to work single crochets this is on the front panel slip stitch and then i'm going to join this to the pocket to the front panel using a single crochet so this is one side of the pocket to the front panel using single crochets or across across in every stitch so like this and we'll join this until the bottom here okay so once you're at the bottom for the other side i want to work on it from the inside of the jacket so i will turn it like this and this is where it is so And we join now the other side of the pocket to the back panel from the inside and we will still use single crochets in every stitch so make a single crochet in every stitch and i'll do this until i get to the end then make a slip stitch and cut off my yarn then i'll meet you there okay this is from the inside I'll meet you on some here so i'm done and now we want to attach this pocket to this front panel okay so that it's not moving around we need to close it at the bottom and then attach it to the front panel and um, just align it so that it's a bit slanting like this you see it's a bit slanting and then i'll just turn like this and in this very first stitch i'll put my hook and then also the front panel in this stitch that is inside so that it doesn't go to the other side so this stitch that is inside like this that's where i will attach my yarn so that i can join these two together then chain one and now that it's attached on the corner i'll just work joining the pocket side the two sides of the pocket without working on the front panel of the sweater so I'll just do single crochets in every stitch like this until i get to the middle and once i get the middle i again do another attachment to the sweater so that it is more um, in place so single crochets just joining the pocket at the bottom and once I'm somewhere in the middle, I will again attach to the front panel in a stitch that doesn't get to the other side of the sweater. Out of frame. Yeah, more like this. And then I already attached this and then I'll just continue with only the pockets inserting a single crochet in every stitch joining the pocket together until the end and once I'm at the end my last stitch will also go into the front panel just to secure it pick a stitch and then pull through make a single crochet chain one and cut off your yarn okay so we have it like this so go ahead and do the other side and also the pocket just like we did for this side the sleeve everything okay and once you're done then we'll work on the bottom ribbing 
yeah this is how it looks like so do the other side too and you should have something looking like this once you're done with both sleeves both pockets yeah so now we just need to do the ribbing both at the bottom the sides and the around the neck so we'll start with the bottom ribbing and i'm working on the using another color i'm working on the right side so i'll reattach my yarn into that very first stitch and we'll be making reductions in this case so i'll chain two and i'll make a double crochet into that very first stitch a double crochet in the next stitch so that's my second double crochet and then my third double crochet and then for my fourth one i'll make a decrease so i'll do three double crochets and then make a decrease so i'm using two stitches at a go so i will go into one and come out of the other so this is the first stitch second stitch so i insert my hook into the first one and get my hook out of the second one and make a double crochet so i've made a decrease there so i've worked in these two stitches so now i go into the third stitch okay so this is going to be my first stitch first double crochet second double crochet third double crochet and then a decrease so these next two stitches i'll make a decrease i go in like this come out like that in the next stitch and then make a decrease so leave these two alone and then the next one is where i make my first double crochet second double crochet and third double crochet and then i make a decrease So I go into the next two stitches, insert my hook in the first and come out of the second one like this and then come out of the second one like that and just make a double crochet. So is two already done. So now I go into the next with a double crochet and you are going to repeat this until you get to the other side. I lost the footage for the second row but this is how we'll do it so we are going to work front post and back post stitches so you'll do one front post one back post this th um th the third one is a front post then the third one is a the fourth one is a back post the fifth one is a front post and then when you go to the sixth and seventh stitch make a front post and a two combined stitches so Two stitches the sixth and the seventh just put your hook under them to make a front post or if you're making a back post a back post so that is how it will be done so you'll be making every five stitches then the sixth and the seventh you combine five stitches the sixth and the seventh you combine until the end all right so i'm coming to the end of that row that i just explained and i'll just finish it off with a double crochet and I want to change color, so I will just go ahead and put my yellow color. So we are done with reducing now. Only the reductions were on the second and first rows. So for the third row, you're not making any reductions. I hope you were able to make it through the second row. Just read my instructions, you'll be able to make it. Okay, so I'll just tie this up. So I chained my two and where i have a front post so the first stitch is always a double crochet so i have my front post i'll make a front post and where i have my back post i'll make a back post like that so this is a front post and my next stitch is a back post front post and then a back post and then we are going to repeat the same rows like we had on our cuffs so I had made a total number of seven rows. I'll go ahead and make seven rows for this one. Just remember we made a reduction on first row and second row, okay? Then I'll meet you once you are done with your lower ribbing. I'll do seven rows, same colors like the cuffs. 
so i'm done and uh, this is how it looks like okay so now we're going to do this side uh, ribbing i already did one side i'll just show you how i did that up to the top here two three four i did four 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 rows so for me to have the right side as my last row i will start from the inside from the wrong side okay so i'll work my first row in the wrong side because i'm doing an even number so i'll insert my hook at the bottom ribbon and then i'll chain two and i'll make a row of double crochet so in this very first stitch i'll make a double crochet and for the bottom ribbing i'm putting two double crochets in every stitch so since i had seven rows i'll have a total number of 14 double crochets so that's my second one and i'll put my next one here So for this part of the ribbing, I'll just make 14 double crochets. Like this. Just tighten this up. Double crochet is still the where you have your ribbing done, and then we'll start on the other part of the jacket, and it will still be a double crochet in every stitch that you see. So where you see a hole like here, I'll put a double crochet. The next one is here next is this you will just identify them when you see them okay so i'll make up a row of double crochets until the top where we have we started our decrease there and then i will meet you there so that we can start on the second row okay right here all right so i'm at the top and this is how it looks like okay and so now we are going to work on our second row so you are going to chain two turn your work and our first stitch is going to be a double crochet then we are going to make a front post go under it like this make a front post and our next stitch is going to be a back post and then front post and back post so you are going to be alternating between front post back post front post, post back post until you get to the end once you get to the end chain two turn your work repeat until you have a total number of four rows so once you are done with one part, then you'll go on the other side, still do the second part, also four rows, and I'll meet you once you have two. So this is what you should have by now. This is how it should be looking like. And uh, from here, we are going to do the top part, this one here, all around. So we are going to start from right here walk away up to here and then we'll keep increasing each time we get to the beginning and the end okay so i would reattach my yarn into this very first stitch and then make a chain one this chain one will work as a, will count as a stitch so in this very first stitch i will next stitch i'll make a double crochet So this is my second stitch. I'll make a double crochet. 
then go into the next stitch make a double crochet and into the next stitch make a double crochet and the next stitch a double crochet and the next so i'm going to work double crochets in every stitch that i see you can see here and there too and i'll do that all around until i get to the other side And then I'll meet you on the other side to finish up the row and then start on row two. So I'm coming to the end of row one and I'm going to close this off with a single crochet in this first stitch. Okay, so we are going to go into the second chain space and make a single crochet and then we are going to turn our work because we want to work on row two okay so we're going to chain one turn our work and into that uh, stitch we'll make a single crochet Go into the next stitch, make a single crochet, and now uh, this we are going to start working on back front post and back post where we have the double crochet. So we'll work a front post and then a back post, front post, and then back post. And then you are going to do this until you get to the end of the row and I will meet you there. So I'm at the end of the row and I'm going to close this off with a single crochet. And I'll work a single crochet here. That's the first one, the last one. And then now for the next row, another single crochet. But I want to change color so I'll do this in half. And then change my color. And I'm using the yellow now chain one and I'll make a single crochet in the first stitch single crochet on top of the next single crochet And on top of the next one and uh, then I'll work front post and back post so where I have a front post I'll work a front post and where there's a back post I'll work a back post and I'll continue to do this until I get to the other end of the row and then I'll meet you So I'm at the end of the row and I'm going to work my single crochets. And then finish this off with a single crochet into the next row like this. And then another single crochet, but an incomplete one because I want to change color again to the blue. So this is my last row. Sorry, my second last row. And I'm going to change. And work single crochet. So. And once I get to where I have the back post and front post, I'll do a front post here where I have a front post. 
and then a back post where I have a back post. So I'm going to do this until I get to the end of the row to come and do my final row. So I'm at the end and I'm going to work single crochet here and then a single crochet here and then since this is the last row I'll work another single crochet in this very last stitch then chain one turn my work I will skip this very first stitch and into the second stitch I'll make a single crochet so now I have two stitches left to my front post. What I'll do is for this one, I'll go in below and make a front post. And then I'll just put and insert a double crochet here. And then now I'm back to where the front posts are. So I'll make a front post. So we now have this extension of the front post there. So now I'll go ahead and do back post, front post, back post, front post until I get to the end of this row. Not to the end of the row, but almost the end of the row, and I'll come show you how we finish it off. So I'm almost at the end. So now I'm going to make a front post in the below single crochet, just like we did at the beginning. Uh, and then a double crochet. So I'm going to close this off with single crochets on here and I'm going to single crochet into the rest of the stitches then I make a slip stitch at the end chain one and then cut off my yarn and uh, once you're done this is how it should look like up here I only did one color change and i'll sew in my ends and it should be done yeah you should have something looking like this go and sew in all these ends and yeah i hope you like it uh, you can adjust it to your sizes like i said and i hope to see you wearing bigger sizes and see photos of your kids wearing them so yeah i hope you like it please subscribe to my channel if you haven't let it make it to a hundred thousand uh, leave a like a comment share and yeah i will see you in my next tutorial thank you so much for watching bye